Thanks for joining me again, friends. Uh, this is going to be a custom action figure feature video, and I have two uh, recent customs that I've done. I've completed this uh, this past weekend that I want to share with you. And the first one here is uh, is a uh, one that I did for a friend of mine named Blake. He uh, sent me a message uh, with a bunch of pictures and some. Uh, some requests for an ARC Trooper, so uh, he, he uh, called the right guy as far as uh, wanting a, a custom ARC Trooper, and he actually sent me a whole bunch of parts and everything to use, and uh, in fact sent me an entire figure. He sent me the new uh, Clone Wars Captain Rex figure with the space backpack and all that good stuff and sent me a couple of other parts so I'm just going to take you through and um, the design of this figure was pretty much his whole entire idea uh, and he just kind of sent me pictures and said what he wanted this that and the other and I kind of put it together for him so what you see is the new Clone Wars uh, Captain Rex body here it does have ball jointed hips um, and it does come with the cloth comma, however, this is not the cloth comma that he comes with. The cloth comma that he came with was kind of a, a crappy, uh, it looked too small, it didn't fit right. This is actually from Captain Fordo, and, which I um, dyed in some ink and uh, then painted, repainted the stripe blue. And then, uh, obviously, the jet pack that comes with the Captain Rex is there. And then on the belt, uh, what you see is uh, right here is the um, blaster holster for a arc trooper blaster that comes with Captain Fordo also. So I cut off the the one and uh, I stuck that on there so that he could holster his blaster. And we have a heavy head uh, that I painted. I gave him. Um, some sideburns, a tattoo, and some scars, shadow, and a beard. And then he's got a, of course, the helmet that comes with the Captain Rex that I painted up to his specifications, obviously. And uh, this is actually my first custom commission figure. And uh, I have to say, this trooper here turned out pretty, pretty, pretty darn good looking, in my opinion. Uh, I'm a little bit jealous of it, but uh, I was happy to have the commission, so I'll be glad to be sending this to his new owner uh, tomorrow. So uh, that's going to do it for this. Stay tuned for my next uh, custom figure. Okay, welcome back, and uh, here we have my second custom figure, and this might look a little bit familiar to those of you that uh, have been following my videos for quite some time. Um, this is a custom G.I. Joe Boba Fett, but this is not my G.I. Joe Boba Fett that I made a few years ago. This is actually uh, a commission piece uh, from a guy named Rob. And he sent me a message saying, I would like uh, you to build me one of those Boba Fetts that you built yourself. So he again sent me some parts and um, sent me a body. And I kind of wrangled up the rest of the parts needed for him and got to work and been working on it all week long. And I have to say, this one is even better than the one that I made for myself. And the one that I made for myself is going to get a few upgrades here probably this week. But let's see, I used a Rise of Cobra shipwreck body, and then at the forearm cut off the arms, and I gave him a, a tripwire gauntlets and hands with the Destro grenades, just like my other figure. Same thing over here, except I gave him the wrist rockets. Uh, Neo Viper belts, painted brown with the, with the pistol in there. Uh, he requested, uh, Rob requested that I use a uh, Boba Fett backpack instead of the G.I. Joe one. So I painted that up a little bit and added a little bit to it. Um, and then the head that I used for this was the 30th anniversary apartment style Rex. Uh, the one with the removable armor pieces and things. I thought that was a good head to use so I gave him a couple of scars to mirror the vintage Boba Fett figure and his scars. And of course he had one over here just like his father did so I painted that one up and uh, gave him my camo fabric cape to uh, stay with the G.I. Joe theme and then I just took an extra 
uh, G.I. Joe rifle that I had in my parts bin and painted that up for him. I didn't have any Marauders left, unfortunately. Uh, and this Wookiee Pelts here that I have, because I didn't have any left, uh, was actually on the suggestion of my son to use the, uh, the Wookiee harness from the Wookiee Warrior from Revenge of the Sith. And, I, and uh, once he said that, I was like, oh, that's perfect. So I tied a little thread around the bottom here and then in the back, which you can't see. And I just, I like how long it is. I painted one side the brownish yellow to go with it. And then if you see, I did the Bantha skull here. And that one actually turned out better than the one that I did on mine. And then, of course, his chest emblem, which I'm not sure what that means off the top of my head, but that one actually turned out a little bit better than mine as well. Might be repainting mine. And then I just went on and painted painted him up to meet uh, Boba Fett standards and weathered him. And, and uh, I just got to say that this is a great figure and uh, I know Rob's going to be really happy with them. So thank you very much for commissioning me. And uh, if you would like to commission uh, a figure from me, you can send an email to lucasclones at gmail.com and send me uh, what you what you uh, would like and uh, obviously if you have the parts that you can send me that will always help and, and uh, cause the the uh, process to be sped up but if I have parts too I'll, I'll uh, definitely use what I can and uh, I would love to work with you so um, that's going to do it for this video uh, until next time uh, may the force be with you Bye-bye.